kindergarten and first grade friends. I hope you enjoyed the story up in the garden and down in the dirt and it got you thinking about all the different things that you might want to grow in your own garden. Maybe you already have a garden and you already grow things that you can use to inspire your art project today. Or maybe you've never had a garden before and you can come up with all different things that you would want to grow in your garden when you have one. So I want you to think about some things that you might plant in your garden. Maybe you have some favorite fruits and vegetables that you would want to plant. And then I want you to think of some things that might be happening underneath in the dirt, all right? All right, friends. So today we're going to start by drawing our garden. And when you're adding your garden, I want you to think about some things that you might want to grow in your garden. You could have a lot of fun with this and grow silly things like hamburgers and pizza. Or if maybe you have a garden, you could draw the things that you actually grow in your garden. So I've already started sketching my idea, but I'm gonna take a black oil pastel. You could use a black marker or just pencil, or um, you could use a black crayon. And you're gonna start by drawing a line, not in the middle, down a little bit from the middle. And we're gonna draw a horizontal line across our paper. And that line might be a little wavy, a little bumpy, to kind of show that it's dirt. And then we're gonna draw some things that might be happening on underneath our dirt. So maybe you have some worms that have dug holes and little streams through the dirt. Maybe you actually have worms in the dirt. Maybe you have some bugs that are crawling around in the dirt. So you might want to draw some bugs scurrying around. Then if you want, I'm using oil pastel, but you could use marker or crayon. You can color in some of those things. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this nice cream beige color and make color in my, my worm here. And then I might want to take like a brown and color in my beetle, underground beetle. And then I'm gonna go up above the dirt. I'm gonna draw some things that are coming out of the dirt. So over here I have a type of leafy lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that leafy lettuce. So I might just outline it with the black or I might take some different colors and outline it. Thinking about all the veins and the leaves. And then outline it with some green. You might have some bugs crawling on the dirt. I have a little snail crawling along over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline him. He might be tan. Then you might have some plants that have grow their vegetables underneath. And also with my other plants, I would also have roots growing underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and go below this, below my dirt line. I'm gonna draw some roots coming down from where my leafy lettuce is growing. And then I'm going to add my yummy carrot over here, which is growing underground. Outline that. I'm going to add some roots coming off of it. So you might even have some things that are growing underground too, depending on what's in your garden. And then I have a big tomato plant over here because my son loves tomatoes. He eats them like apples. He's crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this big tomato plant big leaves, big juicy tomatoes coming off of those stems, outline that juicy tomato, again you can use whatever you want to add color, you can use crayons, anything you want, 
now that I have all of that outlined, I can go in and add some more color. So I might choose to add color with crayons and just finish coloring everything in. I might choose to add color with marker or I might choose to add color with watercolors. So depending on what you have in home, go ahead and use whatever you have. I'm going to go ahead and use some watercolor. All right, so I'm going to add some color using some watercolor. So I'm going to be using a paintbrush and some water. I'm gonna start at the bottom and getting my paints wet. I'm gonna go ahead and add some color to my dirt. Remember when you're using paints and paintbrushes, we want to make sure we're treating our paintbrush nice so that the hairs on our brush stay nice and clean. So be very gentle. We never push down on our paintbrushes. We always keep them on our tippy toes because they want to be ballerinas so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the underneath. I'm going to paint the top and I can't wait to see how you guys add color to yours. you might want to add some things up above where your dirt is so maybe you have some butterflies or bees flying around so I'm gonna just add a bee real quick maybe you got little flies bugging or gnats and then if you want you can also paint the background so Today you are making your very own garden and again you can make your garden however you want. You could have a silly garden with funny things growing in it like pizza or you could have a garden that you would actually grow in your backyard. I can't wait to see how you choose to add gar um, color to your garden and I can't wait to see the types of things that you have growing in your garden. So I'm going to go ahead and going to add some blue for my skin. There you have it. I finished my very own garden. I would love if you could share your garden with me. Feel free to email or share on Facebook or Instagram any way you can because I want to see what you're making at home. Have a great week, you guys.